Alright, today we have another exclusive video. This time it's a robot review. This is a three motor diffy drive, and today we're joined by Andrew from Kinetic Force. Okay, what the hell is this cat, bro? Never a cat again, buddy. I'm switching to my cat. Okay. Oh, wait, listen. It, it's not even that bad. It's not even that bad. What is this, bro? bro? What is this? Okay, it, it's like, I, I, I just. It, it was rushed, okay? It's not my fault. Alright, I think this drive. Like really benefits teams without pneumatics since since this third motor powers both wheels while driving straight. You can kind of have that speed of a four motor drive, right? And this is still pretty basic. Uh, two point five to one gear ratio, only a bit of ac added extra stuff, and you have two motors in the back dedicated to the back wheels. So Andrew, can you explain to us how this differential helps the third motor like move forward and turn? Yeah. So uh, basically. There's three motors, right? The two motors power each side. Um, those, they, they stay there the entire time. The third motor, it powers the differential in the middle. So when we want to power both sides at the same time, we spin our motor. It spins the blue gear, which spins the green gearbox, right? So that when that gearbox, the entire gearbox spins, um, both sides of the drivetrain spin, and that just gives a little bit of, uh, of boost to both sides. And we actually did a little bit of testing. Um, we use this on our 2.5, 3, 2.5 to 1, 3 motor drive base. It's just as fast as a 4 motor 2 to 1 drive base in a straight line. So this is used on a, a flywheel bot, right? Yeah. So, like, I think using on a flywheel bot without bevel gears at the top to combine the take is kind of less useful than, let's say, like a back roller, right? I've seen a lot of teams not have pneumatics. And that really sets them behind teams that do. But with a three motor diffy drive like this, you can save some motors and you can still have the two motor intake and you can just do some simple motor sharing for the back roller while also having one motor left for the catapult. And that really that really allows teams without pneumatics to still have a really competitive bot, right? even though the turning speed might be less. And I think this is a really good design, especially for doing cycles going forward and backwards. Uh, you're saving one entire motor for having the same speed going forward and back. However, there are some downsides, right? Like, you know, turning might be a bit scuffed, as you said. But still, this is an incredible design. Thank you for sharing this with us. And also, um, programming this, it's kind of weird. You have to, like, decide, um, you have to, like, check when you're turning, right? So as soon as you turn, you just, like, disengage that third motor. And that's, like, that's something that was, like, somewhat of a challenge for us to program. But yeah, um, if you want this CAD, just join the Captain Discord server in the description. Yeah, and we're also going to be hosting a game show where we judge Vex IQ robots, so make sure to join up in the description. All right, bye. Yeah, big boss Sigma. Okay.